It's Beer O'Clock on Milo Craft Beer. Today we've got a beer from Salt Brewing Company. This is part of Salt the Hop. Now this is their single hop series of beers. This is their Citra edition. It's coming in at 5% ABV. I picked it up in Asda. It cost me three pounds. It's a reasonably new beer. I think I picked this one up about two or three weeks ago. I opened the fridge this morning and I was like, right, okay, I've got some beer reviews to do. Let's pick five beers. And you know when two or three weeks pass? And I wonder if you have the same situation that I do. You open your fridge door and, you're like, and you pick up a beer and you go, where did I buy that from? Do you ever have that? Like, you know, some of us collect beer, don't we? Some of us, we see beers and we go, I've not had that one, we'll have that one. You know, it's almost like Pokemon for adults, isn't it, beer? So you, you, you're picking up beers from all over the place. And then, and then after, if you haven't drunk it in like two or three weeks, you, you're scratching your head and you're thinking, where did I buy that from? So I had to scratch my head this morning. And I remembered, uh, as they got this hop series going on, uh, and I'm 99% I'm sure that I picked this up in Asda for three pounds. <clears throat> Let's get it out into a glass, see what we get. Nice bit of smoke on the can opening. Beer in the glass. <clears throat> Looks really good. Straw coloured beer, nice and hazy. Salt, I mean, if you've been drinking craft beer for the last two or three years, you certainly from the supermarket, you will know of salt. Uh, they, if you if you talk to me about salt beer company, two say three years ago, I wouldn't have had a clue, wouldn't have had a Scooby Doo who who they were. Two years ago, or maybe maybe it was a little bit longer, they 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 launched some beers into the supermarket. Huckerback, Salt Huckerback, and they went in with such a level of quality. Huckerback for me is still, I've not had it in a while, I've not had it in a while, but Huckerback for me is still one of the best supermarket IPAs out there. This though, from half an arm's distance, is, is smelling pretty terrific. It's that lovely hazy straw coloured beer. One to two finger white head. Let's get the aroma. Oh, juicy, juicy, juicy. Yeah. Oh, lovely. It's got that light wafer malt aroma. But that lovely citra... It's almost like a papaya or... Pineapple, maybe some like tin pineapple aroma going on. It smells really good, really, really good. Let's dive in. Cheers, everybody. Oh, it's got that tutti fruity, definitely tin pineapple, definitely another, another syrup. You know when you open up a tin, kind of tin pineapples <clears throat> and you get the, of course you get the pineapple rings and you get that syrup, that kind of slightly sweet, sticky juice that's in the, tin of pineapples, it's, it's definitely got a bit of that about it. It's definitely got a bit of actual pineapple ring in there as well. Carbonation pushes the beer on the inside of the mouth, releases more flavour. It's very crispy, very refreshing. Salt have smashed it with this one, absolutely smashed it. I mean, again, salt for me. 
this is the thing. We're living in 2022, and, I'm, and I, and I apologise if I'm bringing this into a beer review. I really am. But um, I like to talk about the times we're in, or what's going on whilst I review this beer, because this beer won't be in Asda forever. This is just a little kind of a small window in time. This, because what salt do with the hop is that they change the hop. So what have we had so far? We, we've had a few, I can't remember all these different hops, but we've had a few different hop varieties of this beer in Asda already. This is probably the third or fourth iteration of this beer. So it's a single hop series where they change the hops over they change the beer over every probably six months. So I think I'm allowed, I think I'm able to talk about the, where when this beer was released. We're in this kind of, dare I say it, cost of living crisis. And, and, and there's people out there that probably once were able to go to their local bottle shop and pick up a can of eight pound craft beer. Didn't blink an eye to it like you know a nine ten pound for a, for a can of craft beer you know you, you you had that kind of ability to afford that but then all of a sudden what's going on this year with inflation and tax and gas and electric and all this other kind of stuff everything going through the roof petrol diesel maybe you're thinking oh you know that that eight pound can of craft beer now is not so easily reachable and then when you're in your, I mean, we all shop in the supermarkets, don't we? When you're in the supermarket, then you, 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 you may have that kind of little desire to have a little wander down the beer aisle. And you might pick this up and think, you know, I'm probably going to give this a go. I'm probably going to give this a little try. And I think for a three pound can of craft beer, I think this is, it's really good. It's really good. <clears throat> is it as good as? bottle shop can craft beer at eight pound no no so so why isn't it why isn't it well it would it would definitely be hoppier i think if, if you were paying eight pound for a can of craft beer from a a bottle shop it would have more of a hop flavor to it more of a hop profile it would have a little bit more stickiness on the lips you'd be feeling the hops on the lips a little bit more it would be a little bit more full-bodied and that's probably just purely the hops or maybe they've kind of made this a six percent beer where they've added some more malt but again this is not an eight pound can of craft beer this is a three pound can of craft beer and I think for that three pound price point, I, th I think you're going to struggle. You're going to struggle to get a better beer for three pound. I think this is probably as good as Salt's Huckaback. This, this, this Citra is, it's really good. It's really good. So I'm going to conclude the review with if, if you are on a bit of a budget these days and you're looking for something decent for three pounds a can, then look no further than this. It's really, really tasty. It's well balanced, it's drinkable, it's refreshing, it's juicy, it's crispy. Good head retention, good carbonation in the glass. Yeah, it, 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 it's, that, that's a decent beer for the price. Decent beer for the price. 5% ABV. I like that. I really like that. I think as that have turned the corner when they first launched their craft beers, um, I think they had a few teething problems. I think they they struggled a little bit with maybe their distribution. They, I think they, they weren't keeping their cans cold and I think there was a problem with the beers. But I think they've learned their lesson. I think they've, they've learned to look after the beer a bit more. It's a bit of a delicate product. You know, don't leave it lying around somewhere type of thing. Um, so as that have turned the corner as well, as the, they've really kind of upped their game. So brilliant. 
fantastic. We're, 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 what I'm trying to say is we're in a bit of a good place at the moment for beer. If, you're, if, if you've only got a few pounds to spend, then you can go to the supermarket and buy a pretty decent beer these days. If you've got a little bit more disposable income, you've got that option to go to the bottle shop. It, you know, there's, there's something for everybody. That's what I'm trying to say. There's something for everybody. I like this beer. I like it enough to give it an 8 out of 10. It's an 8 out of 10 from Real Ale Craft Beer. Please put your comments in the comments box. Subscribe to our daily beer and food reviews. Give us a big fat thumbs up. Boom. Cheers.